my guest was actually handed a violin bow from Jesus. Now, when she plays, people are physically, emotionally, and spiritually healed. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, when she plays the violin, people have face-to-face -face encounters with God. She literally prophesies over people when she plays her violin. You'll see what I mean. At age nine, she started playing, and she uh, studied in Paris, and uh, she, she also played for the Toronto Symphony. And uh, Ruth Fazel, it seems to me a turning point in your life was when you went to the Toronto Airport Church, and there was a time in which you were presented a bow of a violin. Tell me about that. That was a very special evening. It was, um, it was sort of the early days. For a violinist, I can't think yeah, of anything yeah, yeah. more special. <laughs> yeah. um, it was the early days of the renewal, and um, I, I'd been there at the meeting, and it was the end of the meeting. Now, the meetings tended to go on really long, right? Well, the, the ministry time went on really long, and I was right at the back of the church, and I'd been praying for, I was out on the floor, just kind of enjoying God's presence. And I'm laying there, and I have my eyes closed, and I, I felt like I saw Jesus walking towards me um, in the room. And he was holding something, and I'm looking and seeing what it was, and it was like, it was a bow, and he was just holding it like this. And, and he walked up to me, and he said, Ruth, this one's for you. Mm. And, um, and I just, I knew that he was giving me something new, but I didn't understand it. Like lots of things, I suppose, when, when God does something. So, it, but it definitely was, in, in amidst all of that was going on in the renewal anyway, there was so much that was new and... Uh, but but then a couple of years later, he explained. Yeah, um, I was home. It was just a regular, normal morning. I'd just taken my daughter to school. I came home and I just felt like the Lord said to me, Ruth, it's time for a new bow. And thinking, well, you just gave me a bow, you know? And um, so anyway, and then, then he, he said, reach up and take it. So I put my hands up to take this bow. And it's like I received it. It was the weight of it. like. A good kind of a weight, not 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 a bad weight, like a, a well, 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 like know, the like the glory, the weight of the glory. Yeah, it, it was an anointing. It was the glory, but I think there was a responsibility yeah. also handed to you with this I mantle. Think, I think and did he speak to you? And what did he say? Yes, he did. He said, um, "Ruth, this bow is a bow of healing, righteousness, and forgiveness." And like most things. You know, when God, I need, for me anyway, when God first speaks to me, I always have to try and figure out what he's, what's he saying? You know, healing, I could sort of understand that because I was already seeing those kinds of things happening right. when I was playing. Righteousness, what's that all about? You know, forgiveness, yeah, now I'm starting to understand those other two uh, much better now. Uh, but, when, when we come back, you're going to find out when she plays over Holocaust survivors what happens. But Ruth, I'd like you to go to the music set and I'd like you to, you see, she plays spontaneous music. She's going to play a selection called Dawn.
We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. When Ruth Fazzle plays her violin and worships, the atmosphere of heaven fills the room. People sense a new intimacy with God. Anxiety is replaced with peace. Many are healed. Lives are dramatically transformed. Call now to get two audio CD albums by Ruth Fazel, Joy in the Night, and Songs from the River, Volume 2. 23 anointed songs for a donation of $35. Ask for offer number 9109. Shipping and handling is included. People who have listened to Ruth's worship music have been set free from anxiety and fear, healed of sleep disorders, released from despair and emptiness, delivered from demonic activity and addictions, set free from burdens, depression, and even thoughts of suicide, received an impartation of heavenly dreams and visions, sensed the presence and glory of God. This is Sid's favorite soaking music. Don't miss out on getting two audio CD albums by Ruth Fazel, Joy in the Night, and Songs from the River, Volume 2. 23 anointed songs for a donation of $35. Ask for offer number 9109. Shipping and handling is included. Or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9109 or log on to SidRoth.org. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Ruth Fazell. And Ruth, I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, but there are angels that accompany you. Do you know that? <laughs> I mean, I went into the dressing room where they, where they were putting makeup on you. Yes. And I just sat down and I could feel an angel touching me. It was like there was an angel in the room when you were getting makeup. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I had an experience. I had an experience of, uh, about a year or two ago, and I was in Holland, and I was staying with this wonderful young couple. Um, his pastor and his wife is really prophetic. And as we were walking along the path, I just casually, it was summertime, I casually just um, picked a piece of grass of it, you know, so there was high mm -hmm. grass. I casually yeah. picked a piece of grass up, and she said, your angel did that just before you did. <laughs> what? <laughs> Speaking of angels, tell me about in the UK what happened. Oh, when we were at the, there was a church down in Devon. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, we, we'd just been, I'd been leading worship at this church, because I, I lead worship as well as do, do things with the violin. And um, we, would, we were just in that place where we were, we were singing like, holy, 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 I think something like that. And then all of a sudden, it, I stopped and there was this sense of God's presence in, in this little church, very old church. And, um, and somebody look, started going, look, 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 like this. And, and then, then I see the pastor and he's crawling along the floor in front of me. He's going, look, 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 look up there. there. And I'm going, can't see anything, um, but people were seeing people were seeing angels. It was an amazing thing. So I I certainly I feel like I feel their presence, but I've yet to see one. I want to see one. You know? Now you did a special oratorio mm. uh, for Jewish people. Uh, what what were you trying to accomplish when you did this? And, and and this was at Carnegie Hall. This was in Israel for Holocaust survivors. Uh, what were you really trying to accomplish? You know what? I wasn't trying to accomplish anything. I was just being a violinist, being a worship leader, doing what I do with the violin. And one day somebody gave me a book of poetry of the children from the Holocaust. And I felt God say to me, Ruth, I want you to take some of these poems, weave them together with the scriptures, to portray my heart in the midst of the suffering. That's all I knew. And so I responded to him in that. I said, yes. You know, I mean, I didn't really know what I was saying. And it wasn't really until it, the whole thing probably took me about two and a half years to write this big piece for orchestra and choirs. And it wasn't until I was sort of some way into it that I'm starting to see what God was actually doing, that this was very specific. What was he doing? Well, on two, two things. He was, he was creating something, I believe, by putting together these songs, of the, the, the poems of these children with the scriptures. He was putting something um, to, to say 
to those who, for so many, you know, the Holocaust, God died. I mean, if God, if God actually did care about us as a people, then, then why did this happen? M he, many he, Jewish people have that question. Of course they do. And so I, and, and uh, I feel that what it is, is it's saying, uh, will you reconsider the goodness of God? Tell me about that Holocaust survivor that started dancing. Oh, that was a, that's like after, that, that was uh, last year when I was mm -hmm. in Israel. And one of the things that God's really, I feel he's asked me, Ruth, will you play over as many Holocaust survivors as I give you to play over? And I, I mean, my heart is just so, and it, it feels entwined somehow in, in them. I, I don't really know how to describe it. It's, it's connecting God's heart to, to people. That's the most important thing. And so I was playing in this little kibbutz up uh, in the Galilee area. And uh, I, it was a small group. And so it was a little different than the normal sort of playing some music and then maybe talking a little bit. And I felt like the Lord said, I want you to play over each one of them. And so I went around the room, asked them their name, and then just played what I felt God give me to play. And there was this one lady. I mean, they all, there was wonderful response from all of them, but there was one I remember so especially because she was sitting so like, you know, still and, 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 and quiet. And, and I felt like the Lord say, play a dance. I'm thinking a dance that looks like the last thing she needs. She needs, she needs like something very different from that. But anyway, I did. I started to play. And she's sitting in the chair and she starts. And she starts moving like this. And then she gets up and she starts like doing almost like a jig on the floor. And then, you know, the staff kind of got in it with her. And it was, it was, so, it was so specifically for her. I Your guess. music is so soothing. I would like you to go to the music set and play something just for our audience right now because she play spontaneous music, and this is going to be just for you. I can tell you, I soak under this music. People all over the world soak under this music. Ruth Fazell.
be right back to It's Supernatural. For he himself is our peace, who has made both Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall. His purpose was to create in himself, to create in himself. His purpose was to create one new man. One new man. One new man. Adin novi chalavek. Le Adam Hadash Echad. One new man. We now return to It's Supernatural. I'm with Ruth Fassell here, and Jesus himself gave her a bow of a violin. And when she plays over people, they get physically healed. I mean, she can tell you stories of people with cancer that were physically healed. But the greatest healing is emotional healing. She especially has a burden for Jewish people. I, I have to believe it has to do with that vision you had. Tell me about it. Mm, yeah, because since, since writing the oratorio, the, everything is kind of, it's constantly growing, this uh, God's heart. I always pray for God's heart because, you know, it expands us. Um, it's one evening I was in my home with a group of friends and I was, we were just quietly waiting on God and I, I'm standing at my keyboard and I'm sort of playing, nothing in particular. And then I start to see, I see this group of people camped in the desert and it's nighttime. And then I hear the sound of a trumpet and it's a distant trumpet and it comes closer and closer and closer. And then I, I look and I see that it's the Lord himself and he's on this, he's on this huge horse. And he comes with, he comes to the camp of where, the, where these people are. And he's saying, you have to come away. You can't stay here any longer. You have to wake up, you have to come. But then it's also like, come away with me, my beloved. It's, it's so tender. And then they come into this realm of, of glory. I don't really know how to describe it. It was like bright and light and timeless. And, and there they are and they're drawn in to the center of this place, which is, which is worship. There's this worship going on, and they're drawn into it, and it's like, oh, this is, I'm so glad I came. This is what I was made for. And it's the Lord, and he's saying, comfort my people, speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Comfort my people, speak tenderly to Jerusalem. And one by one, they realize that that's why God woke them up. Ruth, would you prophesy over me and play what God wants you to play on that violin now? Yeah, I'd love to do that. You know, I feel that there's one word, and it's the word faithful. And it's, God is saying to you, said you have been so faithful. And he is just, his heart and his tenderness of his heart towards you is huge. So I just want you to know that. Well, to, well, you better watch what you say. <laughs> now she's going to play. She's going to get me crying. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> what peace. 
Ruth, would you go to the music set and, and play maybe like a waltz over the people right now? Fazzle plays her violin and worships. The atmosphere of heaven fills the room. People sense a new intimacy with God. Anxiety is replaced with peace. Many are healed. Lives are dramatically transformed. Call now to get two audio CD albums by Ruth Fazzle, Joy in the Night, and Songs from the River, Volume 2. 23 anointed songs for a donation of $35. Ask for offer number 9109. Shipping and handling is included. People who have listened to Ruth's worship music have been set free from anxiety and fear, healed of sleep disorders, released from despair and emptiness, delivered from demonic activity and addictions, set free from burdens, depression, and even thoughts of suicide, received an impartation of heavenly dreams and visions, sensed the presence and glory of God. This is Sid's favorite soaking music. Don't miss out on getting two audio CD albums by Ruth Fazzle, Joy in the Night, and Songs from the River, Volume 2. 23 anointed songs for a donation of $35. Ask for offer number 9109. Shipping and handling is included. Or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9109 or log on to SidRoth.org. Next week on It's Supernatural, you're going to find out about a Muslim that was raised from the dead in the morgue. Guess what he believes about Jesus now?